Yo guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're uh, finally continuing uh, the Wizard of walkthrough. Uh, it's been a little bit since I, well, I mean it's been like, I don't think even a week, but you know, it's been a while since I recorded the last episode that is. So yeah, we're getting back into it and uh, we're going to go on to Winter Tusk. So just to recap though, we finished Dragon's Fire uh, and my gear is pretty okay. Uh, nothing has changed since, so that's particularly why I'm going to Winter Tusk, so I can get the uh, crafted Winter Tusk gear, so I can do that. But, um, yeah, we're not going to Celestia just yet, so uh, we're going to be doing the quest Cold News. I have troubling news from Grizzleheim. It seems as if the cold day we feared has come to pass. Your old friend in Grizzleheim, Bjorn Ironclaws, sends word that the ravens of the coven have struck once again. Bjorn sent word to ask you to venture to Northgard in Grizzleheim and speak to him at once. Uh, your instructors are aware you may miss some class time. Uh, there may be makeup work when this matter is complete. Of course. There always is. All right. Exciting news. Oh, I got out just oh, in time. Exciting news indeed. Professor He's still talking, bro. He's still talking. I left the building. <laughs> okay. Okay. Alright, let's go to Grizzleheim. Finally going to be uh, finishing up all of Grizzleheim in the next uh, couple of episodes. I don't know how long it's exactly going to take me, so it really just depends on how fast I can get everything done. Although, I do have to push this video out. Uh, quicker than usual, so it might not be as long. And I am, uh, lagging a lot for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Alright. Love this background. It's really cool. Really cool looking. Alright, Bjorn. I mean, I already did, like, every single thing here for you, so I mean... Can't you handle Winter Tusk? I guess not. Okay. It's nice to be playing the walkthrough again. Who oh there, Outlander? Forgive me. My gladness at seeing you is outmatched by my dread of the curse upon Grizzleheim. Fair. Your presence humbles me. I am only the second greatest hero in Grizzleheim when you visit my world. <laughs> Times are grim. Though you defeated them before, the evil members of the Coven have struck again. We fear that this is the final act of their terrible plan to curse the spiral with the dreaded Everwinter. King Velgar Goldenblade has need of your spells. Enter his hall and speak with him. If also, we are level 52. I don't remember if uh, that was the exact level we finished on before. On So, I don't know. But yeah, getting Dragonspire done feels nice. Even though it was like at least two weeks ago, I actually recorded that video. I am pleased you heard my call. As Bjorn Ironclaws told you, the evil ravens of the Coven are trying to bring the Everwinter upon Grizzleheim. Once this dreadful cold comes, it will wreath our world in ice, and the freeze will spread throughout the spiral. Though the Coven met their defeat at your hands, they crept from their hidey holes and struck again. There is much to tell you, but still more that I do not know. Your old friend, Raffin Lorespeaker in Ravenscar, wishes to speak with you. No. He knows more about this grim threat. So I've been playing a lot of uh, Fortnite uh, as of recently, so if you guys want to see that... Uh, Definitely uh, comment that down below and I'll start uh, uploading some victories and stuff. I'm not too good at the game yet, but uh, hopefully I'll start to get better. Because I just started playing it not too long ago, so... I didn't originally jump on the Fortnite ban until uh, pretty, pretty late. Would that I had better news for you, wizard. The coven has returned after the same goal. The... Everwinter. You have heard of the titans of storm, fire, and ice, yes? They were the first beings before the spiral was made. The ice titan sleeps deep beneath Grizzleheim, sent into a centuries-long slumber by Bartleby himself. 
The coven would rouse the Ice Titan from that eternal rest. When he rises, his fury will be cold and fierce. The runes tell me that the coven is at work in Hrundlefjord, a port in the part of Grizzleheim called Winter Tusk. You must use your wits, your spells, and your courage to defeat the coven once more. Only you can do this deed. Go and speak to Valgard Goldenblade once more, and tell him that Hrundle Fjord is where you must go. See, the problem I have with Winter Tusk, especially that I'm fire, is that, like, every other creature in that place is ice, and they're probably going to spam fire shields at me, or tower shields, or whatever, and I'm not going to have a very fun time, so... We may be in for the long haul here because I just, I don't see it going any other way. I can see from your grim demeanor that Raffin has told you much. So Raffin Lorespeaker tells you that the coven is up to their evil in Rundlefjord. This angers and frightens me. I have not heard from my subjects in Rundlefjord in some time, and I worry that they have met with trouble. Balder Goldpaws is at the dock of Northgard. He can take you to the part of Wintertusk called Rundlefjord. Go now and speak to Balder, and go to Rundlefjord with the king's favor at your side like a trusted sword. Okay, the good thing about Wintertusk is it actually gives you a lot of XP, so we'll probably be leveling up. Honestly, going into Slash Tail, we might be like 55 or something crazy like that, so... We, like in the middle of uh, Celestia, I might uh, have to go farm waterworks or something. Uh, really quick, we're going to grab the Prospector's E-Quest for Winter Tusk. Oh, if you are indeed going to Rundle Fjord, there's something you can do for old Zeke. It's a quiet little place, but it's getting cold. Too cold for little critters to survive. I hear tell of a pack of trolls in Rundle Fjord. They're wild things that need me to look in on them. Could you check up on them? No need to rile them up. And, Let's see how they're doing. and I think there's a book quest that also goes with it, but I'm not doing that one because it, it involves a lot of side questing to get the actual book, so... Hello there, young wizard. How can I help you? You wish to journey to Rundle Fjord? It is a simple task. Step over to my ship and we will set sail. I didn't even have to step over. I just, like, warped there. Here it is. Rundle Fjord. Part of Winter Tusk. If you wish to return to Northgard, or return here from Northgard, my ship is at your service. Long has it been since I visited Rundle Fjord, but it is clear that something is terribly wrong. There is an unseasonable chill in the air, and I have never seen a ship with such ice upon it. Stride over to that nearby ship, if you will, and see what ails it and the crew who stand beside it. We examine the long ship. This ice is not natural. It was frozen in place here at the dock. Examine the crew. These warriors were frozen in their tracks. Powerful ice magic is at work here. Lovely. That's not very good. No, hey, I didn't want to go back. What the heck? By the way, the music really gets uh, intense here. There are others who could have done this, but I'll wager that the Coven is behind this dread chill. Ill doing at the docks can only be a sign that further mischief is afoot. You should go and examine the gates to Harundel Fjord and see if they were able to withstand this wretched cold. Go and scout only. Do not open the gates or enter the village just yet. There may be trouble within. As a captain, I cannot abandon my longship, so I will wait here for your return. Okay. So we got Frostbones. Like I said, there's going to be a lot of ice uh, creatures here, so. The gates are closed and appear to be locked. Like the cold, silence radiates from within the village. Yeah. Even though we could probably hear a clank and a bones. Wow, this music is very uh, interesting. The gates are locked, eh? That is a sure sign of trouble. In kinder times, the village guards would have seen the sails of my ship and opened the gate to greet us. 
I suspect that the village of Fjord is in the icy clutches of evildoers. There must be a way through the gates. Perhaps a secret signal to alert those inside. Those frost bones outside the gate may know more about getting inside. You should defeat a few right. frost bones and see how they signal to one another. Alright. Uh, what does my deck look like? Yeah, it's pretty much how I want it to be. Alright, let's uh, test out, see how these guys uh, fight. Probably not going to be very fun, so let's see. That's a pretty accurate start of how I thought it was going to go, so I'm not surprised at all. Let's see. Um, could just blade up. Yeah, I'll just blade up. I didn't check how much health they had. That is something I did not check. Let me see. I might just double meteor. Oh god, wow, they actually have quite a bit of health. I'm uh, a little surprised. I'll triple blade then. Ice Wavering, okay. I suspect they could probably stun as well. I'm just hoping they don't. Just out of the niceness of their uh, non-existent heart. Like, it doesn't even look like they have jaws or anything. Just like a bunch of bones. And why are they wearing armor? <laughs> It's not like they're affected by the cold. They're dead. <laughs> Alright, we'll throw a meteor out. See what happens. See how much we can do. Oh boy. Okay, 500. Pretty much expected. Let's see how much this does. I'm hoping it does enough. Let's see. Alright, it'll kill the second guy, but not the first one, because he had a tower shield. Which I guess makes sense. And we'll just wait till we get the other uh, meteor. Still hasn't stunned me yet, so maybe they can use stuns. Let's see. Oh boy, let's hope he doesn't tower shield. Oh no. You sack of crap. And I didn't even enchant it either because I didn't think he was going to again. Oh my god. Oh god, it's still killed. Thank you. As you defeat this frost bones, it signals its allies by banging its sword on its shield. More of them bang their shields in reply. It is a code of some sort. Nice. So they bang shields, basically. Is what we're getting at here. Very well. They bang their swords upon their shields instead of speaking? This is an ancient means of signaling. Warriors of old call it Norse code. <laughs> okay. It is clear that the town has fallen to evil. Go and use Norse code to signal your way past the gate. The Thane of Harundel Fjord is named Vanir Stormwolf. If he lives, he will be in the village's hall. Seek him out and return to me once you know his fate. Yeah, okay. So we return to town gate. How are we supposed to know, like, how to bang? You tap on the gate a few times, and something that sounds like Norse code. A moment later, it opens. Okay. Yeah, I'm in Celestia. Okay. Let's go to uh, whatever his name was. Vanir or something. Start with a V. Yeah, Vanir. Vanir is frozen Vanir. solid. You should tell Balder the bad news. Well, it still doesn't mean it can't be helped. Get something to uh, unfreeze him. 
All right. Let's go back to Balder. And he's more than likely going to have an idea. Also, this campfire. How is that even... Bring your news. Vanir alone could tell us what happened to Rundlefjord. We must devise a way to thaw Vanir's storm roar without harming him. This is raven magic. We need a raven. If I remember rightly, an old crone named Morn Shadowbrew dwells within Rundlefjord. Though she was wicked and unkind, she may be able to help us if she has not been turned to ice. Go and seek her out and see if she can be convinced to help us in this cold hour. Very well. We will attempt to do that. That's a lot of XP, by the way. 7,725. Who came up with that number, by the way? That seems so random. She's like, oh yeah, let's put this quest at 7,725. Like, whose idea was that? <laughs> I don't... Oh, man. Let's hope she's not ice. Who's this? Storm. Frozen. No matter. You'll join the others in their witchery doom. I'm actually surprised we got elemental blades out of that, to be honest with you. And now, I think these guys, these, um... Myth guys can use... Earthquakes, so we're at a point where they're gonna start using a lot higher level spells on us. Like in uh, Dragon Spire, it was like, yeah, okay, they use somewhat high level spells on us, but it wasn't like cr crazy. But Winter Tusk, they started using a lot of really, really good spells on you a lot of the time, so. I don't even know what to do. Uh, I'll put a feint on more. And then we can go from there. I don't know if I should get Fire Dragon. Or if I should go for just a Meteor Strike. And because I'm getting so many uh, Power Pips. Um, I'm. It's kind of hard. To determine because. I, th I think I'm going to go with Fire Dragon. I'll go with Fire Dragon. I'm just hoping it doesn't knock off my uh, Fire Blade. Because uh, Meteor Strike is something I can do after, which is fine. Let me get... Okay, not what I wanted. Let me, there we go. Let me... Okay, Fire Dragon. Let's hope uh, this guy doesn't use uh, Fizzle. Okay, fair game. Tempest. Okay. This shouldn't do too much, I don't think. Actually, plus 60%, so yeah, it'll do a little bit, but not too bad. Tempest usually really isn't that good for when, um... Oh, no! Are you kidding me? Oh, and it's a TC now, too. Oh, that's rough. Okay, we're blading, then. We're blading one more time. That's rough. Ooh. That's not good. This does, actually does quite a bit. And it puts a dispel for life and death on me, I think. Yeah. It's a good thing I'm none of those types. Well, shoot. I was not expecting that at all. I'm going to see if I can dig it up, but if not, I'll just use Meteor. Let's see. Nope. Going to have to just use Meteor. All right. Wow, actually, uh, this was a lot harder than I thought it was because of that fizzle. That's really unfortunate. Wild Bolt? Oh, God. Oh, my God. That could have done the 1,000, and that would have just wrecked my life, dude. Because I don't really have much resist, so... Okay, it should should kill. Yeah, we're good. All right. Stop! No more! I've had enough. I'll help you. What is it you want? Thawing the Thane Vanir? He knows nothing. But if you must speak to him, here is how to thaw him. Go to the geysers at the edge of the village and collect some scalding water. Here's an urn you can use. Just pour it over Vanir. He should thaw in a matter of moments. It is magic ice. 
Only geyser water will serve. I forgot she actually gives side quests. Huh. I, I won't be doing any of the side quests, just the main stuff. Just like every other world past uh, Dragonspire. The only side, actually, the only side quests I did in Dragonspire were the ones to get the books, so. I don't like book quests that you have to do side quests for. It makes uh, things a lot harder. You collect the steaming geyser water in the urn Morn gave you. You're careful not to burn yourself. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Alright, let's go thaw him. Let's -a go. You pour the steaming geyser water upon the frozen thing. In a moment or so, he is free from the ice. What has happened? I was in my hall ready to fight the coven when I became quite cold. I remember no more. Now I am soaked and steaming. My state lacks dignity, but I am grateful to you for my freedom. I don't recognize you, but you're clearly a wizard of some sort. You freed me, so I will trust you. The one you must speak to is Grandmother Raven. She is an old one, older than even the spiral. It is said she gave the eyes of time to the great tree at the heart of the spiral, but that was long long ago. She is a loyal ally of my people. I bid you, check on her. See how she fares. I fear that the coven has done her ill. Grandmother Raven is often near the giant tree behind this hall. Go and seek her out. Yeah. Grandmother Raven becomes quite an interesting character later on in the game, so... Especially in the last world that just came, well, the last first part of the world that just came out, so it was quite, uh, quite interesting, so. Alright. Alright, Grandmother Raven. How art thou? Greetings, young wizard. At long last we meet. I have long watched you as you made your way through the spiral. Perhaps you have felt my presence before. Very. I celebrated your victories, and I hope that my counsel reached you in your journeys. You find me at a disadvantage, though the ravens are all my children of a sort. Some of them are quite wicked. The ravens of the coven are especially untrustworthy. They caught me unawares and trapped me in this cage. If you would help an old grandmother, talk to the three wise sisters called the Norns at the nearby well. They can see into the past, across the world as it is, and they know what is to come. They can help you set me. I am Erd, the one who knows all that has happened to you before this day. I am Verdandi, and there is nothing in the spiral that is hidden from my sight. I am Skald, and I knew you were coming. We Norns tend the loom of fate. Each living being is but a thread for us to weave into the tapestry of life. As an outlander, you are free from fate. You are not of Grizzleheim, so your destiny is not part of this tapestry. You alone can change the course of events and thwart the frightful fate that is to come. To free Grandmother Raven, you must do the impossible first. Fetch for us the feather of a white raven. Skogel the Pale is such a raven, with feathers the color of the moon, rather than the night dark sky. Go to Skogel's hut in Rundlefjord and beg from her a single white feather. Okay, so let's go to Skogel. That's a lot of XP. Holy crap, dude. Uh, actually, uh, I do have to get this video up in a timely fashion, so I'm actually just going to end this video off here. I'll do a little bit more in the next episode, but uh, for now, I think I'm going to end this episode off here. If you guys did enjoy it, please uh, leave a comment down below. That much would be very appreciated. I love uh, I love uh, commenting uh, you guys with you guys and uh, talking and, you know, just the overall feedback. And, uh, yeah, with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video of the Wizard Walkthrough, and peace out. Bye-bye.